Hiya folks, well, another trip to the secret river. Um, Brendan, if you're watching, you're asking me about how I pick, pick the gold up in one of these. This is a snuffer bottle. And basically, when it's like an over in this chug, there's only it traps your gold. So you can just keep snuffing all day until it's full. <laughs> you wish. Um, but I carry mine like this. <laughs> this is a baby's booty from one of the kids. I've got it on a string so I can put it around my neck so it's easy and my hands aren't always wet. There's also a magnet on it, a plate jump cart. This incidentally is tied so that if I get this trapped on something, on a tree, that will fail and it won't hang me. I won't get snuffed by my snuffer. It would probably be a world first and it would probably good if I caught it on film but it wouldn't be much fun. So, but yeah, I uh, had another trip down. Uh, interesting results. Uh, I dug a waterfall which I thought there'd be a lot of gold in it and I found a bit but I'm not going to go on and uh, <laughs> waffle. Uh, I did find quite a lot of lead. I've just had a funny thought actually. Um, I wonder if I, I'm going to weigh that and I'm going to weigh it gold and see which is worth more, the lead or the gold, <laughs> what I found today. And a shell casing. So this time I found a shell casing and it's still got water in it. But anyway, it's nice to be nice. I'll get on with it. So guys, this is where I'm going to be testing today. And as I said, testing, I know there'll be gold in here. How good? That's yet to see. And what I'll do is, I'm going to work from this side first and work across to see if I start finding anything decent. And under my feet here as well, I'm going to do, if I have time today, depending on how much energy I've got, I'll get into that. But, as I say, depending, I might get into that tomorrow. Just a uh, note, I mean, although the main road is literally yeah 20 meters well probably 20 meters that way there's no cell signal or anything in here uh, it's always worth checking for widow makers and things because if something fell in here i couldn't bring anybody if i do go down there and break my leg then it could be still a pain in arse to pull myself out but i do go to some more remote uh, places and uh, i'm trying to get myself a decent kit together for you know safety basically as well as much as anything else I mean look I'm today I'm alone last week or well, with three other guys so it's not so uh, dangerous but you can see there's a car there but still to drag myself that far they broke them like I've broken my leg before in Paris <laughs> a long time ago <laughs> and uh, that's not fun but anyway so guys this is a bit of a strange one I've been in there along here, moved this rock and had a dig under that, which were there, which the front there. I've had a couple of shovels out of there and found a little tiny bit. I've been back up there and done some testing. Found some more little waterfalls down there. Now, I'm going to go into that one next. I'm just going to pull another couple of shovel holes along that edge and break that piece of rock off there. Not there. See if I don't behind it. But, and then, if I don't find anything the next couple of pans, I'm decanting down there. And uh, after I think about that, I've dug here, look, all behind here. I did find one speck behind that rock, but it were just one speck, and I just pulled some more out, a few more pans, took about three or four pans out. Nothing. I'm wondering if it was smashing a lot across here when water comes from there. Could excuse my camera work, but when camera work, when it comes from there, the water sitting there, maybe shooting it across and down into that. But like I said, there's a couple of more smaller waterfalls down there which are more consistent with what I was finding with good gold before. So as I say, I'm going to have to keep praying. I'll be back tomorrow to find a nice little pot.
Yeah, damn light. Even in this light, <laughs> yeah, I got one piece. I just run uh, one bridge along there. I'm thinking it's more this way than that way. So I'll keep going in this area. So one piece again. It's over a millimetre though, and I pulled it out with hand pump. That's a great tool. I must say. So I'm going to keep pumping a bit here, yeah? and just to see if it's because I can't shovel it up, it's caught in cracks. So keep trying at first. I'm still determined to go down there, though. We will see. Again, typically, now I'm finding gold. There's two pieces there. There's a tiny little piece there that ended my finger up, and that piece last three, and I've just been pulling it with that. So. I'm <laughs> I'm slightly annoyed. I've spent quite a bit of time here digging and found very little, well, less than what I've done in the last three pans just by pumping along, along that edge. So there's a lesson from there. But it's still only one or two little flakes for every pan. I might take a couple more pans. So, <laughs> I don't know whether to move on now. I think I'm finally on the spot. I'm going to clean that corner out a bit more. The reason being is, look now. There's another two pieces of gold in there. Every time I've uh, found reasonable gold, I've found a lot of this red stone, which is heavy, and look how much lead shot there is in there. That's a lot of lead shot, so I'm gonna keep pumping that out for a bit. So I'm gonna have a go at this. This is interesting. Just look how it's flowing, you know? I mean, gold at that corner, not that corner. And I'm wondering if it's gonna be straight through there. You can see how this is all sort of built up in these piles of leaves. I mean, a great deal of rain. I'd like to come down here when it's on full flow and have a look. Done a few tests around here. Pulled one full stack out of that. There's too much material in there for me to have a good look today now at this time. It's about four o'clock. I just stuck my hand in that corner. Feel like that. I was sticking sort of at an angle. I'm glad I didn't put my foot in it before I put my hand in it. And forward. So it's all about testing. We had a bit of rain the other week and I've come back to this little waterfall. And I've just pulled about some piece of gold out of it. Some of it could have been wedged in. I did use uh, that hand wedge and that works quite well. But I just investigated a bit further back along the entry to see if I could find a first week but I'm not looking anything in this bank here, just actually under the waterfall. So I said, I don't know whether that's something I missed before because I didn't use hand wedge. I also did some sugar in the house and the sugar like this but uh, or whether some water's brought some fresh down. So it's gonna be interesting to retest all these little waterfalls. But I've got them. I'm going down there now, back to where I finished off yesterday. So this is where I left off yesterday. I tested a couple of waterfalls up there, the bigger ones, so you'll see that. Or you've seen it. And I finished off down here at about I don't know, about half past about five o'clock. I came back to this extra because I thought there was a nice little pot in here. I pulled flakes out every scoop last night and now I'm getting nothing from there. So I'm going to leave it and I'm going to wander back up and uh, I'm just going to pump out a couple of other places that I tried before when I didn't have that. So that was what I found yesterday. It's actually about 20, well, about, there's about 27 pieces here, there's some really fine stuff. And I found about 200 up right now. Week. <coughs> and 99% of that stuff at NAV is sort of that size, if you can see at the end of my finger, that size. This stuff's a lot bigger, but it's a lot less of it. I'll have to take uh, today's count out and then I'll show you that. So that's it, guys. Total shiny. There's probably about 50 pieces. I just had a quick count. I could say there's 50 or well, might be a few more again most of it's a lot larger than that stuff that's off, off at nap but the stuff in nap is uh, a lot more of it but I'm saying that <laughs> this is four minutes away and nap takes an hour and, and three quarters of an hour walk into where we, where we were digging so it's got its benefits there's something for drying I'm beginning to like Sundays 